So, you know, man, uh, one of the things I got a lot of respect about you for is obviously, and you've been told this is, you know, you kind of putting it out there, your substance abuse struggles and kind of like the conversation you had to have with yourself. I had no idea. And that's, I guess, maybe the biggest lesson about people who are going through something like that, that you could do something like you did your rookie year in the NFL, as hard as I know the position is, the whole thing, and be probably struggling under the surface a little bit. How hard was that? When did you know you were struggling? And how how tough was it to put your yourself first? Because I know you checked into rehab in the summer. Yeah, honestly, uh, it's crazy. Just like thinking back, like of where I was mentally, I was in a whole different like space, and it wasn't easy at all. Um, you know, I feel like. I knew the second I took a drink, like when I was in high school, like I, I wasn't like everybody else. Like I love that shit. And you know, it stemmed just from my, my insecurities growing up. Like I was a super insecure kid. Um, you know, I was never, I was always, I felt like in the shadow of my brother, like my brother was the star when he, when I was young and like, he got all the attention, he got all the chicks, he, you know, he was the man. So like, I felt like my way to fit in was like, once I had that first drink at a party, I was like, Oh my God, like I could go out. I, I feel confident for once. And like, I love that. So yeah, like literally from day one, I knew I had a problem deep down. Like I didn't know at the time, but like looking back, I was like, yeah, hundred percent. Like I was, just, I loved it. So yeah. Um, it, it, it's hard, you know, obviously going, you know, playing in the NFL is hard enough, but you know, showing up hungover, like there was <laughs> may I probably, you know, I haven't, you know, he's, we haven't talked about this publicly, but like, it is what it is at this point. But when I was a rookie, like I missed a whole day. Like I, I went back home to Eastern and I was like drunk for like two, three days. I was, you know, it was homecoming. I didn't even make it back on Monday for practice and we had to play a game. You know what I mean? And like, I was that, I was so far gone and opposite of what I am now, like just from a preparation and like just mental standpoint. Um, but it's just a testament of, you know, committing and being, and being consistent on a daily basis and looking myself in the mirror and realizing like, yeah, this shit is not okay. Um, I knew I had a problem. Um, and the hardest thing is just a menu of a problem, you know, especially in our position, everyone in the world is telling me, Max, you're incredible. You're doing great things. You had an amazing rookie year. And I'm like, all right, cool. But I knew like deep down, I was in a really bad place. So that's kind of the hard balance where it's like, all right, do I just keep doing what I'm doing and try to hide this shit as yeah. long as I can, or is it just going to get worse and worse? And you know, it was getting worse and worse. So uh, that was the best decision I ever met, uh, ever made. Like it literally changed my life. And looking back now, it's been over three years and the things I've just, you know, accomplished in these three years are shit. I never would have imagined. And I know I'm just getting started. So yeah, it gives me even more motivation, but you know, that's literally what comes first every single day. I, before I go to bed, I say a prayer, you know, and let everybody, you know, in my head, I talk about how grateful I am and how appreciative I am of just being sober and having another day under my belt. And when I wake up, I do the same thing. So yeah, like on the outside world, you know, um, I got football, I got all this stuff going on, but like none of that happens unless I'm sober and, and, and doing what I'm doing. So yeah, I'm just grateful to be here in this position because I know it can be taken away and one drink can lead, you know, that just leads down the rabbit hole and I'm going to be, you know, off and running. So yeah, I got to stay close and, and stay, you know, attention to detail, just like if it's a sport or a job or anything else, like that's a whole nother battle that I deal with every day, but it gets easier and easier every day, you know, just being more consistent. And um, yeah, man, it's, it's literally a miracle. Like the fact that I was balling out and, was fucking doing, you know, drinking and doing all that shit. Like it's honestly crazy thinking back, but, um, it all happens for a reason. And I'm, I'm grateful. You know, I got to really go through that because now I can help other people. And that's, that's really what it's all about. And is the selling point of sobriety, is it, is there, obviously it's, you've accomplished so much and things are probably more efficient for you and all that shit. But like, is there a piece like, you know, like you're feeling like the way you feel every day where you used to be chasing that one feeling, like is the piece of just being sober and feeling like yourself, like, you know, is there something in there that you're like, Oh, I hadn't been this guy in a while. I, I forgot what that felt like. And it's kind of great. No, hundred percent, man. Honestly, it's like, it's like my superpower. Uh, we talk about this all the time. Like it's crazy. Like my whole childhood, I was over, like I was, I was the, you know, the redheaded kid, chubby kid. I never like, 
I was always insecure and I just grew up that way. And I was never comfortable in my own shoes. And I was always looking for something to fill that, you know, whether it was, you know, when I was a kid, I loved to eat a lot because it made me feel better because I was insecure. And then I, as I got older, I started drinking, smoking, and doing all this shit. And like, I was constantly chasing something that was, you know, just a negative, um, you know, part of my life. So yeah, like now, like I'm 25 years old and like, I've been clean for over three years and like, I know who I am as a person now. And I'm still le- like, I'm learning on a daily basis, but like, I'm comfortable in my own shoes. I'm not worried about the past. I'm not worried about the future. I'm literally just worried about today and getting better. And like all those things, like all my goals and all the things I want to achieve. If I just keep doing what I'm doing and staying consistent on a daily basis, I know I'm going to get to those things. Um, and it's honestly, it's, it, it's crazy. Cause I never thought like in my brain <laughs> when I was a kid or like even in college, like I never knew I was going to stop drinking. Like in my head, I was like, damn, I'm going to just keep with, rolling with this yeah, until yeah. the wheels fall off. Yeah. But now it's like, I'm accomplishing things I never would have imagined just by committing to myself. Like it's honestly out of self-respect. You got to be selfish in a way when it comes to your sobriety, like that comes first before anything. And I'm taking care of myself now and I see things so much more clear and I could think and make real life decisions and I could be a father and I could, you know, I'm not second guessing when I wake up, like, Oh shit, what I do last night. It's like, yeah. no, I'm in control of my life. And you know, it's, it's honestly the coolest thing on the planet, man. You know, congratulations a thousand times, dude. And I remember when you signed that, that big deal, it was like two years almost to the day or maybe to the day yeah. uh, that you, you, that you embarked on this journey of sobriety and, and I, a little levity here. Uh, I remember we shared a laugh about a year ago because I was congratulating you on Twitter for your deal, and I had seen Will Compton had congratulated you, and he decided to finish the congratulations with an emoji of a glass of liquor. <laughs> Fucking idiot, dude. He's an idiot. <laughs> He's an idiot. I'm, I'm, that's just that's just Will. I, I had mean, to take him for a walk. Tweet, that's Will Compton. I had to take him for, to a walk. I had to take him to the <laughs> fridge. I'm the only guy that's ever taken Will Compton for a walk. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I was crying laughing, bro. I, I forgot about that. Yeah, I did but too, yeah, that's I did just too Will. until we were prepping for the show. And I was like, holy shit, Will.